Hey, what's going on? My name's Ryan. This is my van. It's a 2019 Ford Transit, high roof extended. I've been wanting to build a van for three, four years. Ended up purchasing it like mid COVID. Took uh, about a year of research to find the van. And then it took me about 13 months to build it out. I've never done anything like this. Learned from YouTube and purchasing a couple guides on the internet, but I am a bit of a perfectionist. So I spent my time really researching on what I wanted to do for the build and the exact layout to my specs and uh, pretty much all my gear and toys and all the fun stuff you get to do outside. I'm Nate Murphy and I have literally just bought this van to show you how to build a van. We have made a really detailed course which will help you go from this to this. You will learn everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access a community all building their own vans at the same time. So starting with this sliding door, huge countertop space, really wanted something that I could cook on and prep. Um, this pops up. And then on the outside, I have a fold down table for outdoor cooking as well. And then a speaker charger, a USB charger for any of my electronics too. Pretty much everything in the van is electric. So there's an induction cooktop for when the weather's just not good for outdoor cooking. For the fridge, we did a Vitra Fugo 85 liter. We'll probably store about a week's worth of food in there and the cool thing is pretty big freezer in there have tons of ice I could even put a couple pints of ice cream up here the Ford Transits had a good amount of space above the slider door and I really wanted to utilize that for something that was just not just bare wall so I put my entire kind of control panel up there we have the Wabasto heater the inverter dimmable lights, uh, max air fans, any of my systems like water pump or induction cooktop, I can turn off and on as well so they don't accidentally draw power when I'm not using them. And then right here, you can turn on the tank sensors to see how much water you have in your gray water and your uh, fresh water tanks, which is cool. Funny story on this, probably the one day I wanted to quit building the van. When wiring all of this, I pretty much had to use my phone as sort of like a dentist would use and kind of mirror the back end and really kind of use my hands up there and it took me about seven and a half hours to wire the switches <laughs> for the uh, kitchen galley i put all of my drawers and cabinets with slam latches did a lot of research on what latches i wanted to use and slam latches work perfect for me they don't open or anything when i'm driving even on back roads did four drawers right here so you have all of your utensils cooking stuff uh, a couple of them are just uh, like pantry space and then all the pots, pans, oils, anything to cook with. On the upper cabinet side, I built a little shelf here. You can throw your speaker light up there. Over here, I have four, I think they're about 22, 23 inch wide cabinets. Um, and you can keep all of your plates, uh, cups, everything like that. And a couple of them are used for extra food for pantry as well. So for the sink, we have a cutting board. Uh, insert and then we have hot cold water sink and then drinking water with the water filter under the sink as well um, and then I have a gray water tank under there too so right across from the kitchen we have a closet I think the coolest thing about the extended transits is the couple extra feet of room so I knew I wanted to do a closet where I could hang up clothes tons of hanger space and then on the bottom I have room for shoes and storage boxes with all of my other clothes as well Ended up wanting to do an indoor shower, thinking about doing like a lot of skiing and winter activities. So I wanted something that I could shower with inside with hot water. So far, I love the shower. I have the Nautilus retracting door and then the Nature's Head toilet. Feeding into the shower, there's a 35 gallon uh, water tank in the back. And then I have a gray water tank under the van that's mounted. And then there's a fan right here. So you put that on outward and it kind of just sucks the steam right out when you take a shower. So wanted a space that I could have at least four people sitting down, eating and entertaining on the inside. So I did a bench, 
that pops up with uh, storage under that and then I installed two swivel seats on the front and uh, passenger seat as well. And then at the front I have a lagoon table so this is perfect for eating or working or wherever you're at. Up here is kind of my uh, electronics cabinet. I have all my charging cords, GoPros, walkie-talkies. I have a Wii Boost in here as well so I get cell service wherever I'm at. And then on the transits there is like a curve here. It was pretty kind of it's like a weird space to build a cabinet so I ended up going with this trim piece up here and I thought it kind of blended it well with all the other train in the van probably one of the cooler things I've done in the van that people seem to like is the material for the couch and the cushions found it on a on Etsy I believe and uh, this is probably the only thing that I didn't personally build myself I had someone sew these up but uh, I love the aesthetic So back here we have a RV Queen mattress. It's like memory foam, super comfy sleep, sleep amazing in this van. On the sides I did bump outs, so there's about three or four inches of space on each side. I'm 6'1 and I can sleep sideways perfect. Up top I have a couple more of the storage cabinets and then on this side where I put my head, uh, didn't do any storage cabinets so I wouldn't bump my head in the middle of the night, but I do have a hat rack that I created out of like bungee cord. Uh, haven't seen anything like that before so I thought it was pretty cool and then I can still turn on the fans and the lights from back here in the bed as well so on this side in the garage we have the water system so there's an outdoor shower and then I have a hot water heater and everything mounted in there and then for all my toys in here, we have the slides, um, tons of storage for kayaks, paddle boards, all my outdoor camping gear, backpacking gear, and a cooler. For the material I used, this is actually the flooring that I used throughout the whole van. It's a, a marine vinyl, so it's like what you'd see on the bottom of a boat or a pontoon. Um, and I had some left over, so I used it for the water box as well. On this side of the garage, I have a gravel bike mounted, a couple more storage bins for any camping and outdoor stuff. And then I have the whole electrical compartment in there. I did four 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries. Um, and then pretty much my inverter and all of the other systems, uh, the DC to DC charger and the solar is all Victron. The outside of the van did a wrap on the back doors and the hood, just thought it looked really cool. Um, exterior wise we did the BF Goodridge KO2s and on the roof there is the Flatline Vanco deck. So up top I did the solar panels and then I have a deck, it's about the size of a twin size mattress up here. Uh, it's pretty cool to come up here with a couple blankets and a bottle of wine late night and sit under the stars. Thanks for checking out the van today. If you're ever in Phoenix, feel free to reach out. Always up in Sedona or Northern Arizona as well. Instagram is Ryan Seeing Stuff. You may have noticed that you can buy our ebook. Our ebook shows you how to build a van conversion. It has 190 pages of text, diagram, and images showing you various options or various systems. It also comes with 25 videos that show you hands on how to do many parts of building a van. Also, coming out soon, we have a course. The course releases in December, and if you sign up now, you get early access and a discount. The course is really in depth. It shows you everything from how to use basic tools all the way through to doing your gas, your water, and your electric installation. Not only that, but within the course, we support you hands-on in making your electrical specification. And you get to join a community of like-minded van builders who are building their vans at exactly the same time. Follow the links to find out more, and thanks for watching.